Just wanted to give you guys an update on the Blickman Quick Carb. I've used it to carbonate several batches now of homebrew. And uh, operation wise, it's incredibly easy to set up. Um, in terms of the type of beer it produces, I mean, that's going to be as good as you're able to make it. But it certainly does a nice job carbonating. It comes with this little card which gives you directions, a little diagram for the setup, and a carbonation chart on the back as well. Comes in this fancy case. I use food grade CO2. I suppose it's a little bit better since it costs more, but who really knows? In terms of the setup itself, I just match what's in the picture and go from there. It's got a little hanger. You can hang it off the side of the keg, but I typically just use it flat on a table. Uh, one suggestion, just make certain that all of your fittings are as tight as you can get them. Be a little bit careful with the hose clamps on the parts of the quick carb that are plastic, because if you crank down too hard, uh, I guess potentially you could crack uh, those um, plastic male uh, fittings, those ends. Um, that's about it. I would highly recommend this product uh, to a friend, to anybody wanting to carbonate their beer in about 45 minutes for a 5 gallon batch and under 15 minutes for a 3 gallon batch. In terms of how you know when it's done, that is always the question. You'll start off with a lot of bubbles in your line, in your saturation hose, and uh, as time goes on you'll notice the amount of bubbles. Um, it just gets absorbed in the solution and they slowly start to go away. Eventually, this one has a little ways to go, eventually uh, you'll just have what looks like uh, perfectly clear beer going through uh, both your liquid out hose and your saturation hose. One suggestion Follow the directions so you don't end up with any beer uh, going the wrong way in your CO2 hose. Uh, you just want CO2 flowing through that hose, nothing else. And be sure to sanitize um, per the directions uh, before you ever let any beer touch any of the hoses or any of the parts of the quick carb. That's about it. Feel free to comment. I'll answer any questions you might have.